Hey, aloha everybody, how you doing? I'm sorry the tech czar is not here today, but welcome to Abatsi Talk anyway. We're gonna be beaming him in from Sydney, Australia, where he's getting prepped for the Rainbow Warriors football game today. So that's gonna be a new little feature for you. Oh, there he is. Gordo, you're live. Hey, how you doing? All Maybe. right, how's things down aloha. there? How you doing down there, brother? It's good, man. You see, I'm right standing here in front of the ANZ Stadium in Olympic Park. Wow. Well, say hello to all of our viewers on Hibachi Talk. Hey, hello. Ha. <laughs> down here for exciting football fever. Wow. So when, hey, so when did, uh, how was the trip down there, man? When did you leave? Uh, I left on Sunday. It's a nice uh, uh, ten and a half hour flight. No problem. Wow. Was there a lot of uh, Warriors on the flight with you? There, no, not the football team, but there was a lot of um, fans coming in yeah. for the game. So I yeah. think we're going to have quite a few. And we're, They're saying that we're going to be around seventy-three to 80,000 fans at the stadium. Really? Football? Do they know what football is down there? Uh, they have their own version of it, as you know. The rugby, they call it footsie. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why they got that name. But they, um, um, they've got that down here. I've met some people who are uh, uh, from Australia who already have their tickets. Um, they're all getting excited to come to the game. They say they know nothing about it, but the, um, they're looking forward to it. So, wow. um, I've been doing football 101 for a week. Wow. So, so do you, do you think it's been, you know, fairly well marketed or well received to have this event down there? You know, there's been a lot of things going on. I've seen the players have been featured, you know, from both teams, but UH has been featured quite a bit because we do a lot of recruiting down here. Uh, there's been, uh, news, news coverage, there's been radio coverage on their local sports channel. Uh, there was a sweater swap with the uh, rugby team um, that they did with a couple of the captains. I think Corey Rasmussen was on that, was part of that. Um, there has been, uh, you know, a fair bit of coverage in the in the paper. Uh, not a lot, but uh, one of the things that was kind of interesting is they're saying that um, uh, Australia will expect about a $10.2 million bump to their economy just because of this game. Really? And that's just from the, yeah. the teams and all the people that come to see them. I guess they'll... They'll hang around like yourself. So how's prices down there? You've been out to eat? You had a beer or two? How's things going? I tell you what, it makes Hawaii look cheap. <laughs> <laughs> Breaking the bank, huh? Well, oh, my goodness. So, Thank goodness we got a 25% kick out on the dollar because that, that's sort of blending it out. But it is it is not – Sydney is not an inexpensive place to live. Is that right? Um, oh, it's amazing. I think – well, a six-pack of beer is 20 bucks. Come on. So, 20 Australian. So 20 Australian, so you move that down to about 15 U.S. But wow. well, Raz has been d depressed every time he has to go into his pocket. Good thing Angus isn't here. <laughs> he couldn't afford it. Did, uh, yeah, he couldn't so afford I, So I know your your grandson's going to be out there uh, uh, on the offensive side of the ball. Is um, How many of, the fa of your family is down there with you? No, actually he's on the defensive line. Of the oh, ball. that's right, D-line, sorry. Yeah, D-line, nose guard, number 75. We've got the entire family down here, so what makes it interesting, there's four generations of one family here for this game. Wow. So there's, you know, my daughter, my son-in-law, my three grandkids, including Corey, obviously, and then my great-grandson. So all of us are here for this game, four generations wow. for uh, one football game. Kind of fun. Wow. Have you, have you seen a lot of folks from Hawaii? What do you, I mean, like, are they all in the hotel there? Are you, are you staying near the stadium? Yeah, we're a, we're a few blocks away at a condo from from where the stadium is. Saw a fair number of people from Hawaii, uh, you know, running, walking around to different um, locations. We saw some at the zoo. Uh, we saw some at shopping, of course, um, those kinds of things. Yeah, we've seen a fair number of people. They're they're pretty excited about you know about Hawaii this year. Yeah, so you think the fan support showed that? That's really amazing. And, and is um, are you guys going to stay down there for a, a while after the game? Or I know because the next game's in Michigan, so. The next game is in Michigan. I'll report from Michigan. I'll go to that game as well. Um, there will be... Uh, I'll leave on Monday. So I'll head out on Monday. Or Australia's Monday, which is your Sunday. And then, okay, so are, are you going to be stopping back through or are you heading straight up? I'm stopping back through. i got to do my laundry. <laughs> <laughs> right on, right on. So what... Uh, what what's the the big um, you know what's the expectation for the game? I mean you know Cal's a pretty big team. Is the is a, I know you talked to your grandson a little bit. Is he excited? They feel like they got a going to give these guys a good game. Yeah, I think um, I talked to a lot of the kids. They're you know they're very amped up. I talked to the coaches. 
the coaches um, see the fire in their eye. I, I see it in their eye, too. They're excited about this opportunity. This is like their bowl game. It really is for them. Um, Cal's been talking a lot of smack about them, but um, Hawaii's been keeping themselves, you know, under that limelight. You know, they've been very positive about what they're doing. So I think it's going to be interesting to see um, how it turns out. But they're ready. They are definitely ready. They're excited. They want to make sure that they give the Hawaii fans a real good show. And um, they know that people are watching from back home. And they know it's being broadcast, you know, you know pretty well all over the country and, and perhaps all over the world. So it's, it's, you know, they're really, really aware of what this opportunity means to them. That's awesome. Did you, have you had a chance to have any meals with them or the, the team, been, have they been kept kind of sequestered? Yeah, they've been pretty well kept in the hotel and then to practice and then they've had a lot of study hall. So the good thing is, you know, they haven't forgotten why these kids are here. They're having to go, you know, do, go to study hall, you know, take their lessons, get that done, get that out of the way. Um, so that's all been happening. A lot of time in the gym, a lot of time in the weight room. One of the local clubs here allowed them to use their facility. That's what the rugby players use, so they're, they're there. And again, on the on the practice field, we had a, we were supposed to have a public practice the other day there, but it just poured, and uh, they canceled it. So um, we were unable to get to that. But I've seen a lot of the you know, a lot of the kids are around. They're having a real good time. Right on. And so, are they? So does your does Corey have to? Does he stay with you guys and family, or has he got to stay with the team in the hotel? No, he's uh, actually Corey's actually staying with um, with the team. They're, you know, they're on, um, they're not allowed out after a certain time. Um, I see. You know, they just can't go wandering around. Um, you know, they're, 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 Rolo's done a great job along with the other coaches in keeping these kids disciplined. Keeping them in line, so, huh? That's... Well, there's over a hundred of them here, Drew. So Why so many? That's a, oh, they brought the whole well, practice they brought, squad. They brought everybody, include, but then also they brought the tennis coach, the uh, basketball, volleyball recruiters. You know, there's a whole entourage of University of Hawaii people here. I heard David Lazar's here. That's the, you know, he's the president of the of the university. He's here. Um, just a lot of um, pomp and circumstance. They're calling it the Sydney Cup. Yeah. So they want to do it every year. Wow. Is uh, have you got? Did you see David? I know you know him. Is he? Um, is he been out and about in town or? I have not seen him. Um, uh, hopefully, I'll run in, in, into him today. But no, have not seen him uh, around. He might not have been here obviously as long as i have because of the you know he's got he's got a regular job <laughs> so, so he's got to, he's got to earn all that 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 small paycheck he gets paid so nice. um, um but i understand he's staying at a hotel across the road from the uh where the team is staying i see right on cool well so and so we do a lot of recruiting are, are there any australians on our team this year do you know yeah there is there's one kid unfortunately he has to he's He's not allowed to play because we're still waiting for his transcript to oh. get cleared by the University of Hawaii. So, oh, but wow. he's here, oh, and okay. um, there's some there's a history of Hawaii uh, Australian players on the University of Hawaii team. So a few of the old timers have showed up to some of the practices to talk to some of the guys. So um, it's been a real real, real cultural experience for them as well. So it's it's neat. It's really really neat. I'm glad they've got to do this. Yeah, it's, it's, such a, it's a good thing that you got to go down there and you get a little bit of, a, you know, a little bit of an insider scoop from Corey. I'm sure he tells you, tells you whatever the coach allows him to tell you anyway. Yeah, that's for sure. But, you know, it's, it's fun to watch um, um, these kids because many of these kids have never been out of the U.S. So for them just even to come somewhere um, into another country is, is different for them. Yeah, actually, I, I did see an article that uh, it was actually Cal, uh, their coach, talking about how for his kids even to get you know out of uh, out of the U.S. A lot of them hadn't left the U.S. or even left the California before. So you know it's a it's a right. good opportunity to get out and see the world. Some that you know because a lot of them are pretty young, 18, 19, 20 years old, right? It's a big trip yep, for a young you man. That's good stuff. So what do you uh, what's your expectation today? You going to set up like a little tailgate or what do you got going on? We're tailgating at our condo because it's a 10 minute walk over to the stadium to make life easier. Go Warriors! <laughs> oh, we're doing that. Oh, our ass is getting anxious. Anyway, uh, so um, we're going to set up at the at the uh, condo and then just walk over here. Yeah, you guys grilling? I mean, do you do you have an outside grill? Or do, do you do hibachi on on football over there, or what do you do? <laughs> is it fish? Uh, <laughs> it's meat pies. Meat, meat pies, pies right on. Meat pies, meat pies, meat pies. Meat pies are awesome. Um, the fish is excellent too. You know, excellent sushi. The meat pies are terrific. Um, you know, really. Uh, Interesting, good food 
Turkish food, um, fish and chips, uh, a lot of British influence, a lot of British influence still here. Huh. Are you guys down near the water? Where's this stadium at? No, it's more central. It's up from the water. I see. Um, it's about an it's about an hour train ride down to like the uh, Darling Harbor, or down to the Opera House. We went to both those locations. Wow. Um, oh, and they drive on the um, left hand side of the road. Yeah. Now, that's a that's a shocker. Yeah. I tell you, that's that'll that'll put you into cardiac arrest. Do they have times. Uber? Have you been Ubering around any? No, I've not been Uber, and I've been taking the train, and then we have a van as well because there's a whole bunch of us. But nice. uh, we took the train yesterday. We went down to Darling Harbor and spent the day down there, which it, was great. It looks Enjoyed great. It the weather looks incredible. I mean, the sky behind you is really blue. Is it? What's the temperature going to be? Sixty-five. They use Celsius here, but six, sixty-five uh, Fahrenheit. So. so all day long, like uh, even at game time. At game time too. Yeah, it's about. I'd say it's about sixty right now. So it'll but be as nice and. It's going to be like a daytime game, like at noon or something, what, noon or 1 o'clock or something? It's, yeah, it starts at noon uh, Australia time, 4 p.m. Hawaii time. Yeah. I understand a lot of the bars are opening up for the game uh, uh, at 4 o'clock or earlier, um, so a lot of people will be bailing out of the office early today, I bet. Yeah, some of your so, favorite joints downtown will be hosting. I'm sure Murphy's will have a uh, something going on over there. Oh, yeah, guaranteed he'll be doing that, and then... Um, and what about there? Are the are the bars? Do they have like they probably don't have American football memorabilia in them? Do they have? It's all soccer or, or rugby. Yes, yeah, so soccer and rugby. A lot of that. I haven't seen any um, football memorabilia in any of the local libation establishments that I've been to. Huh. So so you'll have to um, drop off yeah. some some UH some warrior gear, you know, so that they have a little spot on their wall. <laughs> I I could do. Um, yeah, I might be able to work something out. I've met a, I've met a couple of good blokes. <laughs> uh, around here, had a lot of fun. So, right on. Yeah. Hey, we're gonna take a break over and pay cut, pay a few bills. You know how that works. Got it. And then uh, let's see if we can get Raz on the line though when we get back. Yeah, I'll go grab him. He's chasing these women around. I'll go get him right now. Right on, man. We'll talk soon. Right. I'm Jay Fidel, and I'm the host of Research in Manoa Mondays from 12 to 1 on ThinkTechHawaii.com. Take a look at us and learn about uh, geophysics, learn about planetology, learn about the ocean and earth sciences at UH Manoa. You'll really enjoy it. So come around. We'll see you then. Looking to energize your Friday afternoon? Tune in to Stand the Energy Man at 12 noon. Aloha Friday here on Think Tech Hawaii. Hi, I'm Chris Letham with Think Tech Hawaii, and I'd like to ask you to come watch my show, The Economy in You, each Wednesday at 3 p.m. Aloha! I'm Chantal Seville, the host of the Savvy Chick Show, which you can watch every Wednesday at 11 a.m. on thinktechhawaii.com. On the Savvy Chick Show, we are all about inspiring and empowering women and girls to be the best they can be by having amazing guests from all around the world. So we hope you'll join us every Wednesday at 11 a.m. Aloha! Hey, aloha, and welcome back to Hibachi Talk right here on Think Tech. We got a little scoop going on for you today. Gordo the Texar is down in Sydney. He's at the stadium getting his pregame uh, warm up on. And I think we've got Raz online. Raz, what's up, buddy? Hey, how you doing, Andrew? Doing all right, Great man. Nice to see you. Nice to see you on, uh, on Australia time. I'm sure you're going to enjoy the game. Oi, me. Oh, I'm learning a new new language down here in this this wonderful country. It's great. It's really great. So, have you been harassing the ladies, or you kind of been uh, staying to yourself, being a good boy this week? Heck no! <laughs> I'm trying to get Gordon to let me out of the bag, <laughs> but he won't. <laughs> Texar keeps locking me up. So, uh, uh, you think the fans are excited for a UH game down under? Oh yes, they really are. They really are. They, they, they don't know much about football, but man, they really enjoy the, the, the camaraderie and they enjoy the beer. So it's really great to have them here and talking about footsie, as they call it. They call it footsie here. Footsie? You wouldn't even know anything about that. Well, footsie, I thought was a movie. I guess it's not. <laughs> oh wait, that was Tootsie. Tootsie. Never mind. They have a beer here called Tui. I like that. I always order two Tuis. I see. So you, a Tui Lager, two Tuis. So have you have you seen? Uh, is your hat popular? I see. You, I see you're wearing the you know Hawaii logo out in the front there. Have you uh, gotten any compliments about that? Oh yeah, all, all everybody wants to get a hold of my hat. You know how that is. 
try offering it up, but you know it doesn't work. Anyway, that it's just it's it's been fun around here. The you know the the ladies are nice, the people are nice. Uh, the stadium is excellent, just excellent facilities. You know, all the, the TV stations are all setting up now, so it's going to be really, really an exciting day. You think they're going to let you in the stadium? No, I can't get in the stadium. I'm too short. Well, maybe Gordo can hide you in the bag. Yeah, uh, yeah, he'll hide me in the bag, all right. I know that. <laughs> well, they don't, they don't want me to embarrass the team. Go Warriors! So look. It looks like we lost our little feed there. Nope. I'm a ah, I'm a there we go. You're back. So I'm back. It's, is this I your got a low battery message? Is this your first time to uh, Australia, there, Raz? This is my first time to Australia. Nice. Down under, it's really nice here. Uh, and so, but uh, it's 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 cold. And so you're, uh, I guess you're you're pulling for Corey Rasmussen. Is that what Raz? That's short for Rasmussen. That's Ra Rasmussen. 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 He, you think you get the name right after all these years there, Randy? <laughs> you know, there's a lot of Seattle Seahawks shirts here. That's interesting. I don't know why, but Seattle Seahawks. There's a there's some lads over there with Seattle Sea shirts on. Oh. I don't know why they're here. Maybe they oh, have some. Uh, oh, maybe... oh wait, New England Patriots shirt too. They might have some uh, some Australian players on their team, perhaps. Yeah, maybe. I like the New England Patriots. Have you gotten to, uh, did you get to speak with any of the uh, players? No, I didn't get to speak. Again, Gordon wouldn't let me out of the bag. I see. So I didn't so, get to speak with so the players. So you've been kept on a short leash as well as the players. A very, very short leash. You know, they're keeping me ready for the game. How you doing over there? <laughs> it's good to share the love. I'm glad you're down there helping out. Gordo needs a little support. I know. I'm trying to spread the aloha. Oh, there's a guy wearing shorts. There's a guy. It's, it's 65 degrees, and there's a guy wearing shorts. I, oh, my goodness. I got two sweaters on. <laughs> so, I, I can't understand why they can wear shorts. Is that Gordo behind you? That's me. Over, <laughs> hanging in here. Keeping him on a short leash down there? Yeah. yeah. Hi, Lassie. Go, oh, Warriors. Very good. Very much fun. Well, you know me, spreading the aloha. Pretty thick, too. That's good stuff. You're going to be memorable down there. I'll be surprised if you don't get a little extra news coverage. <laughs> have you, have you, we hope not. Have you seen any of the local news media around there from Hawaii? Uh, not yet. Not yet. I think they're setting up. If you look across the, uh, the stadium park area, you can see where they're setting up now. Well, you can let them know that you got interviewed by Hibachi Talk, and that'll probably what drive them to want to get you interviewed on their show as well. Oh, yeah, I bet. I bet they can hardly wait to have, me have Raz McTackle on their show. <laughs> I guarantee it. I can do football 101. That's good stuff. That's good. <laughs> they need that down there. What, so what, yeah, what is the stuff that you're trying to teach? Like, um, what don't they know? Let's start with that. But don't they know? Well, they don't know anything. I mean, they really don't understand the game at all. So, you know, they say, it, why does it take three hours to play a one-hour game? That's <laughs> one of their biggest issues. <laughs> so they, to figure out what that is. Yeah, so they know there's two teams. That they know, and they know there's an offense, and they know there's a defense. Did you tell them about the they, kickoff? I told them about the kickoff, and I told them about the downs, so they got that all figured out. Did you tell them about so, any of the penalties? Uh, a little bit, but that got them even more confused. Yeah, they won't understand that at all, I'm sure. Yeah, that was like, you know, how do you get 10-yard penalty or 15-yard penalty? And what's an offside and all that stuff? Well, tell them it's probably just Cal that'll be getting all the penalties anyway. Well, hopefully we're going to kick Cal's butt, like we said <laughs> earlier this year. Oh, hang on one sec. It looks there. like we lost your feed there, Raz. Well, you know, oh, there you go. battery is... Now you're back. I get, yeah, my back. I get my batteries low, so maybe I ought to start looking at uh, phasing on out. Yeah, so I lose the, my camera totally. What's the last message that you want to uh, leave with? Leave us with. Alrighty. So anyway, we, we tell everybody back home that we're you know root for the Rainbow Warriors, and we got to go all the way. Take a.
All right, Raz, we'll see you soon, man. Enjoy the game. Take care of Gordo. Hey, hang on. Let's let me grab Gordo here. Hang on. All right, guys. We'll see you uh, back in Hawaii and watch for us making a lot of noise. And remember, go Warriors! <laughs> right on. And how you do it? football team under Rolovich is going to get wet this season. In case you didn't understand me, University of Hawaii football team is going to kick butt under Rolovich this season. So be sure to follow us on Think Tech Hawaii and Hibachi Top. I'll be at every game. And remember, aloha!